קל הלליום, לה יהוו בהשם של יהוו שי, בהשם מרקה חודש, which is ancient paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only name, which can only be uttered in the Hebrew tongue, who the world ignorantly calls Jah, Jehovah, etc. Um, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Yeshua Jesus, whose name also can only be uttered in the Hebrew tongue, ancient Pele Hebrew. In the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash, which is the wisdom and understanding of these Holy Scriptures. Okay. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and salutations to the sincere Akim as pushing the truth to the Holy Scriptures to edify the elect, 144,000 men, the one third men, women, and children, which are of the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, Amerindians, or Native Americans, Confucian faces, or Tupai Behitans, Chinese, Caucasians, Arabs, etc. All right. I want to go into a lesson um, entitled We Know Nothing. All right, because I was watching this lesson um, by um, Kazakh, all right, from the Mississippi camp uh, through, you know, Manatazak Banyam Yam Chang, all right, it means um, Yahweh. Yahweh exists or something along the lines. <laughs> And the um, beginning of the video has uh, Neil deGrasse something. <sighs> I think his, um, his name is Neil deGrasse Tyson, a uh, scientist, you know, who is trying to explain his logic in, in the most I, you know, that there's no God, that if there's a, if there's a God or a power, as, as you know, you should correctly say, you would be all, all powerful. Yeah, just forget what that, that idiot says, alright? Psalms 53 already gave it out in Psalms. Talk about a fool who says in heart that there's no power. Um, this is Galatians. This, now, this breakdown is basically going into, you know, brothers, don't let, don't let this wisdom and knowledge get to your hand because, you know, um, this, this knowledge is, is, is great, you know, this knowledge is great and, and it, you know, it makes you feel, it makes you feel like you're in control, but actually we're not, they just, you know, we walk in the spirit, the spirit should, the spirit of the Haobash, you know, Shai, is in control and we, we having all this wisdom, all this wisdom on us, having Haobash, you know, Shai, that's the world to us, it just, just show that we are, um, just empty vessels, and that's what we need to be. Empty vessels. We have Yahweh Hashem and Shadow Pro to Spirit. You know? And um, this is Galatians chapter 6 and verse 3. And it says, For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Alright? We deceive ourselves if we think ourselves to be something. If we think we're all that, if we think we're 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 in um, we're in safe, we're in, we're grounded because we don't know what the end is going to be. So we gotta remain um, humble and endure and approach our boss. You know, she has a blank slate because we are nothing compared to him. Right? We are nothing. But by his word, by he creating us, you know, he loved us, so he created us. So don't, you know, don't ever, um, uh, well, let let this truth get get to your head, because you can have the world and now knowledge, and most I could take it away because he's the one to give it in the first place, and that's what this lesson's going into. It says John chapter three verse twenty seven. John answered and said, I. Slakia. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it, it be given him from heaven. That's right, we can receive nothing, whether it's wisdom, whether it's money, whether it's clothes, because the book of the um, first and middle chapter two talks about that. With um the woman, you know, um, Samuel's mother, you know, giving Yahweh Shimon Shai praise. 
saying that, you know, he raiseth up the beg altar down here and, and set him above princes, where he part ways, and also, um, Yahweh yeah, said the same thing to Nebuchadnezzar in the book of Daniel, I believe the fourth chapter, that he is the one who set up kings. So, we can receive nothing except we be given us from heaven, all right? We should be grateful for this, this wisdom and understanding. It's like you. It says, Behold, thou hast made my days as a as an hand breath, and mine age is nothing before thee. It's like you, can you? Trying to get in this work, you know. Had some tea. Uh, I guess it's kicking in. It. it says, um, Mine age is nothing before me, before thee. Verily, every man at his best state altogether vanity. Alright? Sila. So, yeah, Moses has made our days hand breath because you know, our days are numbered. Scripture says that, right? And, and our, our no one say existence, our, our, our consciousness is, is merely but a sanding, 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 a grain of sand in the ocean, you know? So, and this will, um, he is like Neil deGrasse, you know, the atheists and people, you know, feel they know, they don't, they don't grasp how powerful how Bashan is. Like we, we even thinking that, that we know something, we don't, we don't know nothing, we don't know, you know, what's holding these bodies and these elements and these things together. Well, yeah, it's a spirit to how Bashan you know, is like, you know. but the algorithms, we don't know. This is our Galatians chapter 1 and verse 12. For I neither receive it of, of man, and neither was I taught it by the Slakia, yeah, neither was I taught it but by the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right, and if you read this chapter, it's talking about the gospel. If you go a few verses up, but I'm trying to keep this lesson sharp and to the point, right? For I neither receive it of, of man, neither was I taught it but. By the revelation of the Mashiach Yahushai, but through Yahushai making that sacrifice, he paved the way for us to have this wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Right? This is Hebrews chapter 5, verse 1 to 5. It says, For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men and things pertaining to the Most High. And that's why uh, Neil don't get it. Right? That's why you don't get it. And whoever else, because Um, they they want they they weren't ordained. The Lord will, you know, we are ordained to to the service of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. It says that we may offer both gifts and sacrifice for sins, right? And that's the office, all right. But you know we won't be um, making sacrifices in the kingdom of Israel. So, but you know it's just a point I'm setting here. It says who can have who can have compassion? On, on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way for for that he himself also compassed with infirmity right yeah verse 3 and by reason hereof he ought as he ought as for the people so also for himself for himself to offer sins right and that's the show and none of us is righteous, and none of us is good. Only how Bash and Shai is good, and you know, and we only we only righteous when we serve Yahweh Bash and Shai, and we walk along a line with His will and His purpose, His plans. All right. Now, no man. Yeah, that's why this this generation was used to be these rebellious kids, children in the dark. All right. Verse four it says, No man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that called he that he that is called of the most high as was Aaron. Exactly, that's the point. Right? Nobody just can't wake up and say, I'm wise. Nobody just can't just say with the mouth, um, I I I I put I put breath into me body this morning. Well, this is just an example. Nobody just can't say that, oh, 
It's because of me I understand the Bible. You not the author, so how the hell you get on sign? The author has to explain the Bible. That's why he's preached that precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Because the how about you share master plan? It's written in the scriptures, and he know exactly how he set it up. Right, and that's why it's pretty common us to, to do these lessons, to put together these precepts in this way. We, we, we can't think of this ourselves. You know, I certainly couldn't think of this on myself. I confess that. It says verse 5, So also Mashiach glorified not himself to be an high priest, but he but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today I am God me. You see? Even Yahawashai, you know, even Yahawashai was humble and gave his father the praise because you know he knows his father first and he was the first to know Yahweh, Yahweh, right? This is James chapter 1, verse 17. Um, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights. That's Yahweh, with, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. So, there's no um, varieties of, of the things that he does. He appoints every gift and every purpose to everyone. And nobody just can't say, oh, um, I taught myself this, I taught myself that. It says every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Right? Um, this is Job chapter 8 verse 9. For we are but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon the earth are a shadow. Right? And this is pertaining to the lesson. We know nothing. You know, we are but of yesterday. It's not you. It means the 24 hours gone. You know? And our days upon the earth is, is just a shadow, like, you know, just a, a serial thing in depth. You know, um, John chapter 6, verse 4 to 4. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up in the last day. So, no man can go to the most except he, he called him. So, there's really no need for anybody to be puffed up, anybody be, um, Full of the self, thinking that you know they got all wisdom and all understanding, and they figure these things up by the self, or you know, everything comes from Yahweh Bash and Shayam. And soon, soon the whole world will understand, all right. And with that, I pray that this lesson was very fine. I'm so lucky for my son, but I'll just exhausted from work, you know. Why the and Chef put the spirit on me to do this lesson? Yeah, to do this lesson. And I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Kakodash, the honesty of the apostles and those of great in the storm. Shalom, Makiyamu.